Hello and welcome to this presentation of the Technodome. I'm Philip Kolianos, and the Technodome is my take on how to make Deathmatch more interesting. A usual pacing curve for Deathmatch is very flat. The player's excitement doesn't go up or down very much. She kills a few times and then dies, spawns, kills a few more players, dies again, and so on. Adding an event in the level that when it happens radically changes the rules of play and how the players behave on a reward punish basis creates a much more interesting curve from a pacing perspective. This is of course nothing new. Maps with game changing events triggered by players has been around since Quake 1. The Technodome builds on this idea, but with a few differences. There are three energy cells scattered around the map that can be put into three sockets. Doing this will activate a bombing raid. However, the energy cells also activates a door to a safety room. After about a minute, the base blows up and kills everyone, except for the player who managed to seek shelter in the safety room. She is awarded 5 frags. Imagine as alarm goes off and bombs start falling. Players just let go of everything and rush to the shelter. The fight for the safety room tend to get very vicious and most often the cleverest player becomes victorious. The energy cells can also be used in other sockets to spawn powerful weapons, such as the rocket launcher, or block a pathway creating a tactical advantage and access to the supercharger. During the pre-production stage I had a close look at the official levels for Half-Life 2 Deathmatch to find any common design ideas that I could use in the Technodome. However, I found the layouts to be cluttery, difficult to learn and even labyrinth-like at times. So instead I let the layout be heavily inspired by Unreal Tournament design principles with high differences, openness and avoiding the room corridor room syndrome. The layout is divided into two separate areas. The first is a big arena in which the most of the action takes place. Most of the spawn points, energy cells and weapons are situated here. It's open and has multiple levels and catwalks to create exciting and interesting gameplay. Then we have this middle area. This area connects the safe room and houses the sockets powering the steel door. The point with this area is to create a no man's land between the main arena and the safe room where players would have to race each other through once the batteries have been put into place and the air raid is imminent. As the Technodome provides unique gameplay mechanics, I decided it would be important to explain what to do and where to go. To tell the players what to do, I added speech bubbles as abstract elements. Approaching the bubbles displays a short describing text about what a particular socket does. I figured that players would be familiar with the bubbles as they were used by Valve in their development commentary mode. This proved very efficient as new players often curiously approach them and stop while reading the text it displayed. To let the players know where to go during the air raid, I again used abstract elements. I modeled rotating arrows in the same visual style as his speech bubbles to show the way to the bunker. These arrows show up as the alarm sounds and bombs start falling. The arrows proved surprisingly effective as 90% of new players followed their direction and found the safe room at first try. Players also needed to know how many energy cells that was already inserted into the sockets powering the steel door. I solved this by adding a hot element using a screen overlay entity. The entity stretches a texture over the player's view and is used when adding camera distortion or dizzy effects, but it worked just as well when displaying information. This solution is very memory heavy as four 1024 by 1024 textures are needed. But considering the fact that it could be embedded into the level, without any code or customizations of the game, the advantages easily outweighed the memory load. This HUD element had an unexpected effect on players, as they suddenly started to hide energy cells to gain tactical advantage. If two of the three batteries are in search at powering the steel door, and only you knew where the third one is, only you can trigger the air raid and get a head start securing the bunker using trip mines, making sure no one else gets the bonus for surviving. This tactic was very interesting and something I wanted to encourage, but it turned out that some players were so clever in hiding them that no one else could find them. To avoid this, I added a function that teleports the energy cells to their spawn point if no player touches them for 5 minutes. That's it for this presentation of GM Technodome. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can download the level from my website at www.philip.colianos.sc. You can also contact me through colianos at gmail.com.